Welcome back into Talking uh, Fitchburg. So uh, a new segment here that we're going to take on every uh, month mm -hmm. is kind of a little self-promotion of Fact TV. Oh, well. You know, we do we talk about a lot of other departments and what's going on, but mm -hmm. uh, when I looked back at kind of the segments we did, we never really talked about what we do oh. or what we have going on. That's a good point, Jeremy. Yeah. So with that in mind, uh, February actually is a very big month for Fact TV. Indeed. Uh, and on this channel specifically. Mm -hmm. Take a look at this. Fact TV uh, uh, is having uh, now a uh, new programming schedule, the F2 channel. A new schedule. A new schedule, and it starts on uh, Wednesday, February 1st, right here on the Com channel. Fantastic. Yeah. So uh, basically, uh, that new schedule is uh, going to be the program lineup here. So we're n now, Talking Fitchburg, uh, there is, there is going to be some uh, something that affects Talking Fitchburg. Okay but it happens at night. So let's take a look at some of these lineups uh, for the evening. So uh, uh, basically on the Com channel F2, on your Monday night primetime lineup. So what I did is I took the, the Monday night prime uh, primetime. We're actually gonna talk about this too next week when this launches. Okay. We'll take an in-depth look at the schedule, but uh, here's your primetime. Uh, so at 5 p.m. now, Talking Fitchburg will replay then. So right now it's at six. It's gonna be at, uh, it's gonna be at five. So from five, uh, from five to six, you're getting Monday's, uh, or at five, I'm sorry, you're getting Monday's show. Mm -hmm. At uh, 5.30, you're getting the Fitchburg Public Library. At six o'clock, you're getting again, Talking Fitchburg. And then you're getting the replay of the last show, as we've always done. So now you're getting it additional times. So you're getting at five, six, so it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So one, six, five, p.m. and uh, then if you look down at 10 p.m. as well we rebroadcast it again mm -hmm. want to make sure that uh, it hits all the kind of what's I don't know what I would consider the prime time viewing of news like a yeah. lot of people are sure wanting their news you know and also I'd like to shout out on there something that people might not be too familiar with the local perspective it's a it's a fairly new program so People should pay attention to that one because it's pretty good. Yeah, speaking of that, here you go. So uh, the local perspective here uh, shows up at, uh, again, 7 p.m. on uh, Monday nights and then Capital City Band. Uh, it's a show that's been dropped off to us since I started here. It's, mm -hmm. uh, They're of, consistent. They are <laughs> very consistent. And then at 11 p.m. to wrap the night up, uh, learning at X from the Fitchburg Public Library. Going on to Tuesday here, uh, the similar fashion, uh, Talking Fitchburg stays the same. Uh, so I won't repeat that, but uh, Business Before 9 uh, from the Fitchburg Chamber of Business Bureau airs at 7 p.m. Uh, then you got Disc Golf, another very consistent uh, consistent group. And <laughs> they do a really good job, actually. That's Sorry. a really well-produced, interesting program that mm -hmm. we don't really have anything else like it on the channel. So Very talented people. Yes, <laughs> it's, really, it's really good to watch. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so uh, the courses are interesting, and uh, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, it is. I never seen anybody get like frustrated, like throw their frisbee the wrong no. way or something. And one of the best things is once a year or so they send us a program that's the the little kids tournaments. They oh, are yeah. so good; it is unbelievable to watch. So the future talent looks bright. <laughs> it does. Industry. It really does. <laughs> uh, again, uh, your little uh, later look there uh, in the prime time. Let's uh, go over to Wednesday. Wednesday's lineup uh, has familiar look. Uh, Got Learning Annex uh, kicking off at 7 p.m., 8 p.m. Uh, around Wisconsin. Um, basically, that's going to be a new show. Uh, when we bring in different shows from around the state, we share with other bank stations. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to put that in during that hour so you can get a different show, per se, uh, during that hour. And yeah. uh, Because not all the bank stations can create daily or weekly or even monthly shows. Sometimes it's just a one-episode deal. So. Yep. Want to be able to fit it under one uh, piece, and then local uh, local programming as well as stuff we create here. Thursday uh, things stay uh, similar in fashion. Uh, besides, uh, Sci-Fi Journals kicks off at 7 p.m. and uh, your uh, legal edition. And uh, Friday night, let's well, game of the week night. Oh yeah. So uh, game of the weeks, the one, two, and three. So if there's uh, three different game of the weeks, you have them. And then if not, we replay some of the better. The games. classics. The classics. We wouldn't even say better. We just kind of sort through them, and that's right. Whatever happens, happens. So, so there you go. That is your Monday through Friday lineup, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty, uh, pretty stoked. 
Me too. For this upcoming what month. What about February? So let's take a look at February. So this is what we'll actually do now for the rest of the year is mm -hmm. we'll talk about some of these shows. So uh, a show that uh, you uh, go out and tape quite a bit yes. uh, is uh, the Business Before Nine. What would you describe? How would you describe that one? That is a series of um, presentations put on by the Fitchburg Chamber. They bring in a new speaker every month on various topics. Uh, I believe this next month is something uh, related to social media and growing your following there. So they're always switching it up, but it's really, it's a good group of professional speakers that come and present on things that the business community might be interested in. Yeah, it, very interesting stuff. It's really- Even personal, li like I've yeah. taken some stuff away from there and uh, you know, that may not affect me in the business world, yeah. but I could use that fact TV or daily. So. In, a, in a big shout out to the chamber, of course, for having us and allowing us to come and record those because they're awesome and it's nice to be able to share it with everyone. Yeah, absolutely. And then we're also going to be partnering up uh, with uh, the Fitchburg Star with the mayor forum. So mm -hmm. all three uh, mayor uh, Candidates. Candidates. I almost said contestants. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you'll have your chance for the community to come out and uh, at, you know, ask some questions. There'll be mm -hmm. some pre-questions, I'm sure. Uh, we'll be covering that and rebroadcasting that for you. And uh, the Verona Road Business Coalition has their annual town hall meeting at right. 10 Penn Alley. We've talked a little bit about that. Mm -hmm. So uh, that will be coming not only on Talking Fitchburg, but we we'll also its own show. taping it and bringing it back here. So and Andrew's working on a really nice video, a year recap video. I'm excited. Looking forward to playing that right here on the uh, station as it's well. It's been quite a year for them. It has been quite, <laughs> they're quite busy, so yeah. there you go. For more information, hit our website, uh, uh, fitchburgwi.gov, and then head over to the Fact TV page, right on the homepage, bottom right corner. It's easy to find. All right, uh, we'll take a quick break. Coming up next, we wrap it up with a little uh, PB&J for this Monday morning. <laughs> 